Okay, so I've got to cut this thing. I need to cut off two, well, I'll remeasure, but I'm pretty sure two inches off the back of this. I, I think what I'll do is I'll take off this piece of masonite and then I'll be able to see better really what it is that I'm going to be cutting away and make sure there's, I'm not gonna be completely demolishing this piece. So I'm going to have to move these supports in, although this one not necessarily. If I was planning to put a TV back in here, then I would probably have to put that one back on, but it's got side supports, so this one's okay if I cut it out. This one here is obviously supporting this drawer, so I'm going to have to hacksaw this metal drawer support, take this off and move it in, and I'll, prob I'll take these blocks off and move those in. This block here, I'll have to move that in because that's holding this top piece. So there's screws here. Let me take those screws out. cut off. Now I need to figure out this drawer slide cinch. Actually, you know what? I think I'll go ahead and maybe hacksaw it off while it's attached. It'll be a lot easier. All right, I've actually already got a metal bit on my sawzall, so I think it'll cut through that drawer slide super easily, but it's okay if it's not straight. So the drawer comes back to there. Obviously, I've got to cut it so that I can still fasten this to a piece of wood and the drawer will shut all the way. just mark the two inch and cut. I bought this carpenter square at Habitat for Humanity for like two or three dollars. It came like this where it was all dark and kind of it's almost like oil on there and so it made it really hard to see the number so I just my orbital sander and sanded it and now it's perfectly shiny and you can see the numbers really well because the numbers stayed dark and the now I've got a brand new square which I'll be able to just slide along there and scribe my line. So check Habitat for Humanity for tools. I'm just setting this to two inches, setting that to two inches and then I'm just going to run it along here and scribe the line. I'm going to start on this end because I'm right handed. It'll make it easier for me to follow that line. protection. It already feels a little jiggly. But once I get this side cut, then what I'll do is I'll take these pieces off and fasten them up here so it won't be like that. So I think from here I'll jigsaw cut these. Let's see if I can get my jigsaw in there. Okay, so I went in at an angle there and I still didn't have enough space to get the saw in, so I'm gonna. So the circular saw cut to there. Now I'm just gonna take my jigsaw. Okay, and now I can go this way with it. Okay. Is that everything? Okay, so now I'll cut this piece off, this piece off, and then cut two inches on this side, and it's done.
Okay, so this is one of the pieces that came off the bat. And I'm gonna fasten it here in order to be able to fasten the drawer to it. So I'll put a screw in there and a screw there. I'll have to use a metal bit to drill through the drawer slide and put a screw there. And then I think what I'll do is I'll stand it up and see how wobbly it is. And then I'll probably have to put maybe a couple braces, like one brace here, one brace here. Probably that'll be it. This cabinet sits in between two of the other cabinets and I'm gonna fasten them all together and I'm gonna fasten them to the wall just because just because for safety, you know, you never know in the future who might be trying to climb those shelves. So that's the plan. So I already pre-drilled the hole. And I think what I'll do is I think I'll go in and toenail that there. Now I gotta make sure my drawer is square. So I think I'm gonna stand this up put the hole in this with this thing standing up so I know for sure that my drawer is square and will slide properly. Hmm. That's pretty good actually. Okay. There she is, all finished, exactly the right depth, exactly the same as the other two cabinets, so it's all done.